Uh, if you've ever been to Biddle Bowl in Wyandotte, you know just how special that place is. It's an intimate eight-lane bowling alley that's been owned and operated by the same family for 76 years. And after decades of all of that family fun, that family is now hanging up the bowling shoes. Kim DeGiulio spent some time with the owners to see why they decided now's the time to close. Well, guys, you know, they say all good things must come to an end, but it certainly is heartbreaking, not just for Wyandotte, but the whole Downriver community who has so many memories here at Biddle Bowl. But I spoke with the owners and they said it's time to get some rest. To my favorite bowler. Hey, how you doing, Bob? This is what Bob Wilkers has done for the past 76 years. Keep on bowling till You are I so die. wonderful to be able to bowl, right? Greeted people who came to visit the bowling alley that his parents opened in 1948 here in Wyandotte, Biddle Bowl. Well, being that my parents started and I took it over for 30 years, and now Judy and Robbie have taken it over for the last 20, it is a memorable place, and I will be... Uh, always thankful for the opportunity that my parents gave me to purchase the place in 1970. And even though he sold the business to two of his children, Judy and Rob, back in 2002, he continued to show up every day to work, even today at the age of 95. And they're overpaying me at $2 an hour. It has made my life much more exciting to come here day after day and never missing a day. While the kids go on vacation, I take care of them, run the place. It's like a second nature to me. So thank you, and thank you, God, for giving me these 95 years. He's got a strike, technique. Strike, strike. Now Bob's children are ready to retire. However, the opportunity came quicker than they had expected. July 5th. So like a month ago. A developer came in and made us an offer, and we were like, Wow, we didn't even have it listed for sale. We were shocked. We looked it over, you know, made a couple of adjustments. And a week later, he gave us a deposit, and that was history. But selling to a developer means that this place... It's not going to be a bowling center. That's the one thing that's very sad. And to most of our bowlers, that's what they say. Are you sure he can't make it a bowling alley? I says, no, because that's not what they want to do with the property. Yeah. It's the end of an era for people who have made this bowling alley their weekly spot for decades. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? You know, what? You know, they've been here a long time and they deserve a, a little bit of free time. Now as people make their final trip to Biddle Bowl leading up to its last day on August 23rd, they're hoping to collect a piece of memorabilia. So we had stickers made and uh -huh. put on these bowling pins and people are having us sign them like we're celebrities or something. It's, it's, it's been so crazy. And the calls keep coming in. And we've had people that we haven't seen in years now that they know we're closing are coming in and they'll say, do you know I met my wife here? We were teenagers and now we've been married 48 years or this or that. So that, that's all kind of fun. The easy part of saying goodbye will be giving up 60 hour work weeks to keep this place running. But the hard part. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. See why I like working here? Yeah. We'll be saying goodbye to the people who made this place so special. My memories here going back to those days Opening the door and closing it year after year will never be forgotten. I just love Bob. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. You've got three days left to come in and say goodbye to Biddle Bowl. Their official last day is August 23rd. And by the way, Biddle Bowl has been big supporters of the Goodfellows organization for many, many years. So they hope that the people who bowled here week after week continue to support that great organization. Guys. Wow. Boy, the key to long life, 95 years old. My goodness. I mean, that's a great Remarkable. job. Remarkable. Yeah. And also that a developer is coming in and, you know, helping yep. that family be yeah. able to, to walk away. Yeah. Right. Uh, certainly the fabric of that community, just uh, that bowling alley. Great memories. Be missed for sure. Great story. Uh,